بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو اور فائن آئی ایم یور میتھ ٹیچر شہباز علی یونٹ نمبر فور ان ٹیچرس ایکسرسائز فور پوائنٹ ٹو کوشچن نمبر ون یوز دا لائن نمبر نائن ٹو ریٹرن دا سم سو ہیئر وی ہیو سیکنڈ فرسٹ پارٹ مائنس سیون اینڈ پلس تھری here firstly we will draw a straight line and then mark with equal distances here you can see with the equal distance i mark on this line and then assign a integers from zero so straight on the right hand side of the zero we will assign the positive integers one two three four five six seven eight nine and on the left hand side of the zero we will assign these mark point from minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus eight and minus nine so here we have a first number is positive so we will draw a arrow from 0 to next three digits here we have 1 2 and 3 and next is minus 7 so here i am drawing an other arrow from 3 to 4 you can see my 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this point is positive 3 and this point is minus 7 if we minus these two numbers we got the answer minus 4 this is our answer part number 3 we have two integers positive 5 and plus minus minus 1 same first we will draw a straight line and mark the line on the points equal distances on the whole line I will mark the points and then assign the integers on the right left hand side of the zero we will assign the negative integers and on the right hand side of the zero we will assign the positive integers here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 on the left hand side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 so first point is 5 so we will draw arrow from 0 to 5 yes from 0 to 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 and next is minus 1 has we here we have negative here we have positive and students you know that positive negative we have a is equal to negative so from 5 to minus 1 so this is for minus 1 and this is for positive 5 if we minus these two integers we got the answer positive 4 part number 5 same we will draw a straight line and mark the whole line with equal distances yes and then assign the integers on the right hand side we will assign the positive numbers and on the left hand side we will assign the negative numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and on the left hand side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 so first integer is minus 1 here we have minus 1 second integer is minus 2 for, from this point not the 0 from this point on the end of the first arrow the first arrow is ending from this point so we will start our next integers from this point so here we have next integer is minus 2 so here one minus 1 and minus 2 the third is minus 3 so its starting point is this minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so here we go the number that is a minus 6 this is minus 1 arrow, minus 2 and minus 3. We got the answer that is minus 
6. So students, this is our question number 1. Let's start question number 2. Find the sum of the following. Here we have positive 9 and positive 7. So firstly, we will add the absolute integer of the given number that is 9 and 7. Then we will take the common. So positive sign is common in both number. So I will take it common. Now 9 plus 7 we have 16. We will write it in both form. Part number 6. We have minus 7 and positive 6. So firstly we will write the absolute integers of these numbers. So integers are 7 and 6. Here we have 7 and 6 and I will take the minus common. So here we have minus. If I will take the common it will become the positive sign. Here I have positive 6 but if I will take the common it will becomes a negative. Now 7 minus 6 we have 1 and I will write this minus as it is. So answer is minus 1. Part number 7. Same. Previous questions. Firstly we will write the absolute integers that is 11 and the 7. Now the minus if I will take the common then it will become a positive then here we have positive so if I will take common it will become a negative now I am minus the larger number from the smaller if we minus we have 4 and this minus I will write it as it is now part number 12 same first I will write the absolute integers so absolute integers are 27 and 19 so in the next step I will take the common minus I will take as a common so it will become the positive and here we have 9 minus so it will become a positive so if we minus we have a 46 and I will write this minus as it is question number 3 fill in the blanks here we have second part you can see here we have a integers and have a empty box so simply we will plus these integers and write the answer in the empty box so here you can see plus 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 and 7 plus 3 we have answer is 10 now question number 3 part number 5 here firstly we have an empty box and then plus in the curve bracket parenthesis we have minus 5 and then minus 16 here we will guess our integer suppose if we put here positive integer then positive and negative cancel each other now we have to put the integers that will give us answer is minus 16 now here we will put the minus integer value suppose here I am going to put minus 6 now you know that minus minus positive 6 plus 5 we have 11 now we need a minus 16 uh, guess yes you can do this yes right right if you put here minus 11 and minus 11 minus 5 the answer is minus 16 now question number 3 part number 7 here we have positive 100 plus empty box then is equal to positive 50 now students suppose of what we will be minus from the 100 and get 50 suppose if we minus 20 we will get from 100 we will get the 80 now we will minus the value that we will give us the 50 suppose here if we will minus the 50 from the largest integer value that is 100 now the answer is 50 part number 8 here we have minus 11 now students what we will the add 
for getting the answer is minus 111 suppose here if we put here positive value suppose here I am putting the 100 positive 100 now the positive 100 minus 100 the answer is 89 so that is why I am here putting the minus 100 and you know that minus minus we have positive and we will write the sign that is a hundred from the largest value here you know that minus and minus we have positive and we will write the negative sign because the hundred is greater than hundred is a greater integer value so answer is minus 111 question number 4 solve the following here we are doing the addition now we have a question number 4 part number 1 firstly we will solve the bracket now you can see here we have a bracket this we will solve our square bracket here you can see if we the positive integer absolute value of 2 is 2 and the absolute value of positive 3 is 3 now here we will write it and then you know that the positive also here positive also here we will take the sign common here sign is common now 3 plus 2 you know that the answer is 5 again we will take the absolute value of 5 and 4 we have 5 and 4 and then again take the sign common here sign positive and here we have positive we will take it as a common now here we have positive now 5 plus 4 we have 9 and we will write this symbol positive the answer is 9 now student part number 4 same firstly we will solve the bracket that is curve bracket and you know that the absolute value of minus 2 is 2 and the absolute value of minus 6 is 6 now here I am putting the value absolute value and after this we will take the common and you know that the here minus sign is common here we also have minus here we also have minus we will take it as a common now you know that 6 plus 2 we have 8 and this plus and this plus minus we have a minus again we will take the absolute values of the integers minus 8 and the 4 the minus 8 integer is 4 and we have a here minus 8 is integer 8 and again next is 4 now here we have taking the common minus symbol if we take the common minus from here here it will become the positive but here we have a positive symbol if we will take common from here then it will become a negative I am again repeating if we will take common from the 4 now this positive symbol become, will becomes the minus now if we minus 4 minus 8 8 minus 4 we have 4 and we will write this minus as it is now part number 5 same firstly we will solve our the square bracket here I am putting the absolute values of we have integer 25 and the 50 the integers are 25 and 50 we write it and you know that the positive symbol is common we will write it as a common and then 50 plus 25 we have 75 now we are doing again putting the absolute value of these two integers now here we have 25 and here we have 75 if we add these two integers we have 100 and this positive symbol we will write as it is so student this is our exercise 4.2 that is completed in our today lecture i hope you understand well if you have any questions you can ask me i will give you an answer as soon as possible so take care Allah Hafiz